congregation Beth Ariel. Um, we're going to continue today to study in the book of Numbers, and we're coming soon to the end of this book. And um, uh, we can say one thing that the Lord has taught us so many things through this book, and He has showed us uh, His wonderful treasures of His Word. And uh, we're so blessed. Amen. We can uh, firmly walk in His ways, knowing that He accomplishes His will in our lives. And we can trust Him in everything He does. Uh, and we can rely on Him for our walk. So I would like us to just uh, have a moment of prayer. And we can start uh, a time of worship. Our Lord, our God, our Creator, our King, our Master, the King of the Universe. We are so thankful to you that you have brought us here to study your word, to worship you, to praise you, to lift up your holy name. In the name of Yeshua, the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, we are so blessed, Lord. We ask you to um, pour out your grace upon us so we can follow you this morning, follow your word, and silence our hearts, Lord, and hear you speaking to us, Lord. Renew our minds by your word, Lord, and bring us to worship you, to praise you, for you are worthy of praise, Lord. And you sanctify our hearts when we sing for your glory, Lord. When we praise you, we lift up our hands to you. For you um, behold all things, Lord. You be all things belong to you. And we want to uh, belong to you this morning. Yes, Lord. Please uh, sanctify us by your word. In Yeshua's name, amen.
So Israel was joined to Baal of Peor, and the anger of the Lord was aroused against Israel. Altogether, do you not know that he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him? Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. L'Éternel parla à Moïse et dit, « Finé, fils d'Éléazar, fils du sacrificateur Aaron, a détourné ma fureur de dessus les enfants d'Israël, parce qu'il a été animé de mon zèle au milieu d'eux, et je n'ai point dans ma colère consumé les enfants d'Israël. C'est pourquoi tu diras que je traite avec lui une alliance de paix. Ce sera pour lui, pour sa postérité après lui, l'alliance d'un sacerdoce perpétuel. » parce qu'il a été zélé pour son Dieu et qu'il a fait l'expiation pour les enfants d'Israël. Ensemble, mon alliance avec lui était une alliance de vie et de paix, ce que je lui ai accordé pour qu'il me craignit. Et il a eu pour moi de la crainte. Il a tremblé devant mon nom. La loi de la vérité était dans sa bouche et l'iniquité ne s'est point trouvée sur ses lèvres. Il a marché avec moi dans la paix et dans la droiture, et il a détourné du mal beaucoup d'hommes. Observe Israel after the flesh. Are not those who eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar? What am I saying then? That an idol is anything, or what is offered to idols is anything? Rather, that the things which, which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. Or do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he altogether? Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealously? Parole du roi Lemuel, sentence par lesquelles sa mère l'instruisit. Que te dirais-je, mon fils, que te dirais-je, fils de mes entrailles? Que te dirais-je, mon fils, objet de mes voeux? Ne livre pas ta vigueur aux femmes et tes voix à celles qui perdent les rois. Ouvre ta bouche pour le muet, pour la cause de tous les délaissés. Ouvre ta bouche, juge avec justice et défends le malheureux et l'indigent. Ensemble, n'en est-il pas ainsi de ma maison devant Dieu, puisqu'il a fait avec moi une alliance éternelle, en tout point bien réglée et offrant pleine sécurité? Ne fera-t-il pas germer tout mon salut et tous mes désirs? Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were to them God who forgives, though you took vengeance on their deeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Altogether, you who fear the Lord, praise him. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me. For your goodness sake, O oh Lord. Louez l'Éternel, heureux l'homme qui craint l'Éternel, qui trouve un grand plaisir à ses commandements. Sa postérité sera puissante sur la terre. La génération des hommes droits sera bénie. Tous ensemble, mon âme bénit l'Éternel. La bonté de l'Éternel dure à jamais pour ceux qui le craignent, et sa miséricorde pour les enfants de leurs enfants, pour ceux qui gardent son alliance et se souviennent de ses commandements afin de les accomplir.
with bookends. Look at the bookends which describe Israel. The beginning of her wanderings was marked by idolatry and a lack of trust. Moses was receiving the Ten Commandments while Israel below made a golden calf. And now at the end of the journey, at the other end of the bookends, she does the same. While God is securing blessings for Israel, even through the enemy Balaam, Israel below is heading towards idolatry once again, this time with the Moabite women. Bookends are used to support books from toppling over. As we consider the bookends of our lives, what will keep us firmly supported on both ends? As we move around the books on our shelves and events in our lives, even one book improperly placed can have a domino effect and topple over all the other ones. We need stability to hold us up on each end. I like to think of my bookends as trust and faith. And some of you might make your bookends righteousness and peace. But whatever it is, let's always lean on the bookends that keep our lives upright and in the Lord. And with that, we will have shalom in our hearts. Shalom, shalom. 
Shalom. We wish you the blessing of Shalom. 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 Shalom, 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 shalom. It's blessing unto you, a special kind of peace, unlike the kind you might have heard about. There might be even more, but in the presence of the Lord, there is comfort in every situation. Shalom, shalom, shalom. We wish you the blessing of shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, 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 we wish you the blessing of shalom, 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 shalom. Or praise Him with a dance Or praise Him with a shofar Praise Him with your hands Praise Him with a timbrel Praise Him with a heart Praise Him with a drum and a flute Praise Him with your heart Hallelujah Oh, hallelujah 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 Hallelujah
Phineas's love and zeal for God stopped the plague and saved lives. How many lives can we save when we share the gospel, when we exhort and encourage, when we bring a sinner back to God? What fires up our zeal? Are we passionate about our job, wanting success? Are we passionate about our possessions, wanting them forever? We know that whatever we're passionate about, we're gonna spend our time and our energy and our money on it. Some of us are passionate for food, but hear Yeshua's words when he says of his father for whom he had perfect passion, my food is to do the will of him who sent me. Yes, Phineas's passion for God stopped the plague, but Yeshua's passionate walk to the cross paid for our sins while we were still impassioned in our trespasses. Help us, Lord, to be passionate in our worship of you, for you alone are highly exalted. You were despised. You were rejected, Lord, those who passed by even averted their gaze from your sight. Such was the suffering you bore for us. Led like a lamb, a lamb to the slaughter, you spoke not a word, but chose to be silent, Lord, you did no wrong. Nor was deceitfulness found in you. Yet by your wounds our salvation has come. Yet by your suffering our freedom is won. For God has highly exalted your name. He has enthroned you on high. Jesus, the name above all names. For God has highly exalted your name. He has enthroned you on high. Yet by your wounds, yet by your wounds our salvation has come. Yet by your suffering our freedom is won. For God has highly exalted your name. He has enthroned you on high. Jesus, the name above all.
fears and troubles, all my worries, all my doubts. I want to feel your sovereign hand on me. I bring before your holy throne of praise all my sins and fears. they are very connected. Idleness can lead to idolatry. That's what happened with Israel in Shittim, with the Moabite women. Idleness is not simply being quiet. It's taking time off from the disciplined life. Can we ever afford time away from the Lord? The Bible instructs us to be always abounding in the work of the Lord because we know that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Idleness harvests harm, but the harvest out there is plentiful, and the laborers are few. Help us, Lord, to understand that staying idle is an active and deliberate choice not to make the best of our time and for your glory. Help us never to miss time with you, Lord. Help us to worship you only and to make every moment count at your throne, at your feet, and as we enter into the Holy of Holies.
rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain. who cover yourself with light as if with a garment who stretch out the heavens like a curtain he lays the beams of his upper chambers in the waters who makes the clouds his chariot who walks on the wings of the wind who makes his angels spirits his ministers a flame of fire you who lay the foundation of the earth so that it should not be moved forever you covered it with a deep as with a garment the waters stood above the mountains O oh Lord how manifold are your works in wisdom you have made them all the earth is full of your possessions may the glory of the Lord endure forever may the Lord rejoice in his works he looks on the earth and it trembles he touches the hills and they smoke I will sing to the Lord as long as I live I will sing praise to my God while I have my being may my meditation be sweet to him yes I am glad in the Lord Majesty.
from your word. Seigneur notre Dieu, nous te louons, nous t'adorons tous ensemble, Seigneur. Je te prie de nous bénir, je te prie de nous guérir, de nous donner cet enthousiasme, Seigneur, pour continuer à vivre pour toi, Seigneur, à grandir dans tes voies, à marcher dans ta vérité, Seigneur, et à toucher ceux qui ne connaissent pas encore ton nom, Seigneur, seulement par ta parole, Seigneur, en marchant dans ton esprit. Et nous te prions, Seigneur, de bénir ces offrandes que nous donnons avec des cœurs joyeux, Seigneur, parce que tout vient de toi, tout vient de toi. Tout ce que nous avons t'appartient, Seigneur, comme nos vies t'appartiennent. Et c'est le meilleur état que nous pouvons avoir, Seigneur, c'est de t'appartenir. Tu es notre Créateur, tu es notre Seigneur, notre Roi. Et nous sommes tellement bénis, Seigneur, parce que tu nous as choisis avant la fondation du monde, Seigneur, afin que nous puissions aujourd'hui t'adorer, exalter ton nom, Seigneur, te louer et te rendre gloire à ton nom. Amen. Here is uh, something to consider. Balaam's name was mentioned many times between chapter 22 and 24. It's because God would use Balaam as an instrument of blessing. But as soon as Balaam cursed Israel through the Moabite women, Balaam's name is hardly mentioned at all. Satan's name is mentioned 53 times throughout scripture, but David's name is mentioned 970 times, and Moses is mentioned 803 times. This helps us realize that the wicked will vanish, their name will one day disappear, but the righteous will flourish forever. And it is the righteous who have their names written down in the Lamb's book of life to be with you, O Lord, forever, worshiping in ways we can't even imagine. Thank you, Lord, for naming us worthy to praise you forever. Will I stand in your presence? Or 
To my knees will I fall, will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to sing it all? I can only imagine. Yes, O Lord. We can only imagine. I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory. Surrounded by your glory. What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Oh, in all of you be still. Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. Yes, O oh Lord. up, teens, middlers, and littlers to the front. terminer euh, notre service avec ces deux chants. Euh, si vous voulez, vous pouvez vous lever et on va euh, donc terminer euh, notre adoration euh, du Seigneur euh, avec euh, ces deux chants, Lefane Rani, en nous rappelant que euh, c'est le Seigneur qui est euh, vraiment euh, la source de notre joie et c'est en lui que nous pouvons euh, trouver la joie, la paix euh, et l'amour hein, envers le prochain.
Donne le 